I am begging you, do not follow anything I'm about to do in this video. I messed up big time. My wing looks like it's pregnant. Uh, it is massive. The foam inside the wing that I'm about to put inside uh, expanded greatly, greatly over time. And uh, one day I parked my car in a parking lot and uh, sun was out, gorgeous day, 70, maybe 85 degrees, I don't know. but. I came back and my wing looked like it gained 50 pounds just because the foam inside the wing didn't fully cure when I was wrapping it when I was painting it uh, decided to fully cure when it was heated up in the sun so over time approximately seven days to uh, a weekish it's uh, it 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 expanded it, it did exactly what it was supposed to do uh, and that's my fault um, so don't follow anything I'm about to do in this video. This is a prime example of what not to do with your body kits, your wing, or your front splitter, or anything that you get that is hollow. Leave it hollow. Don't, don't fill it with anything. It's better off hollow. Enjoy my video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parsons Productions. So today I am installing, well, preparing to install a gigantic wing for my Subaru BRZ. Uh, it came in a box of parts, it's like all these. I've got them somewhat painted, or primed anyway, um, and sanded down. However, the one major problem that I uh, have with this is that it sounds way too hollow. And uh, I don't like that at all because, I don't know, it just sounds cheap to me. So what I think I'm not doing is I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of it, and I'm gonna fill it with expanding foam, and that expanding foam will hopefully reduce the sound of it uh, being hollow, and then hopefully it'll make it really sturdy. So I'm gonna do it with all the pieces, so follow along. So now that I've got all my holes drilled, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, basic expanding foam you can find it at any hardware store really. It's mainly for filling like cracks around pipes, windows, doors, whatnot. But it's only one use, so once you, uh, once you open it up, it's ready to go. So I'll put the cap on, and then we'll get to work. So at this point in the video, it's been about six-ish hours since the uh, foam application. So after that, we're going to go ahead and peel off the excess foam. Uh, it was still a little wet, and just fair warning, it does get very, very sticky. And this stuff is impossible to get off your hands. Uh, it didn't come off my hands for a few days. And as you can see here, when I'm, uh, I'm knocking on it, you can see the, uh, the sound is a lot less hollow sounding. It's very... Uh, 
I would say solid, and that's exactly what I was going for, and that was the uh, the perfect uh, ideal situation. It was it was firm, it was solid. It didn't sound like it was cheap hollow plastic. And now it's time for sanding. So once all the foam was fully hardened, this is the next day, uh, I took some 220 grit sandpaper uh, and I sanded it all down and took the excess foam off. Uh, in some spots that were a little bit more hefty application of foam, uh, it almost melted the plastic just a little bit. So I used uh, some 80 grit sandpaper on that and that really took it down. And then I used the 220 back over it again. And eventually I do step it up and grade the sandpaper, but as right now we're starting with the 220. And now it's time for primer. I'm using a Rust-Oleum gray primer that you'd find at almost any hardware store. I'm doing small light coats, two light coats are uh, better than one heavy coats. And uh, once I gave it that two coats, it did really hide the uh, any sand marks that I had in there. And I think this primer worked really well for this application. Wrapping the upper portion of my wing had to be by far my favorite part of this. Uh, am I good at wrapping? No, no, not at all. Uh, but I think that this came out fantastic. I did have plenty of creases, bubbles, tears uh, where they shouldn't have been, uh, but majority of them were on the bottom, so you couldn't really see them from a, uh, a, a pedestrian standpoint. So enjoy this footage of me wrapping the upper portion of the wing. This backside of the wing had to be by far the hardest, as its curved figure wouldn't allow a smooth application of the wrap. I had to take the scissors and cut strips in it so I could easily bend the wrap around it. Then I used the uh, the heat gun to kind of morph the or the vinyl wrap to the curved edge, and that really gave it the uh, the nice. Uh, curve shape it was it had uh, however there were a few little bubbles and kinks that you can see here in the video and I was able to smooth those out for the most part but there's a few in yet ah uh, yes the finale the final assembly of the wing this wing has been riding around in my closet for the last three maybe four months and it's amazing to finally get this thing all set up and put together I've been waiting for this for I don't know how long but uh, setting it up with the with the fresh paint and the uh, the wrap on there was a little bit of a challenge, but with a, a little bit of sweat and a little bit of uh, gumption and know-how, uh, I was able to go together really easy. Next to wrapping the wing, this was by far not easy either. Uh, doing this solo or single-handedly uh, was a definitely a bit of a challenge. Uh, balancing this heavy fiberglass wing. Uh, while my trunk was in, suspended in the air was a little bit of a, a difficulty, but I was able to manage. Uh, first, we need to remove the stock wing, which uh, in my opinion looks really cool, but I think this wing looks way cooler. And then once we have that removed, we can clean off the surface that was below it, and then go ahead and install the new wing. 
Alrighty, so the wing is finally done. Uh, you can see it back behind me. From afar, if you stand about, uh, I'd say, 50 to 100 feet away, it looks fantastic. Uh, as you get closer, you, you can see some details uh, that aren't so pretty, so let me explain. So starting off with the back, you can see that this is my main issue. From the side, this thing looks pregnant. I mean, look how, look how big that is. It looks like an absolute airfoil, and yeah, it is supposed to be from the factory, but that foam that I filled it with uh, expanded. It expanded so bad that it's just freaking big. And another part that I don't quite like is this part over here. You can see this gap right here is not supposed to be there compared to the other side. The other side's perfect. That's what it's supposed to look like. And that's this one because you can see a little bubble in there. It expanded too much. And that's a problem. So I'm probably going to go ahead and purchase another wing and I won't do any of the foam and I'll just leave it with the, uh, the hollow sound that it had. But you can listen to that sounds pretty nice to me. I, I like that. that. That sounds good, but I just hate the expansion issue. Uh, and one thing that I did not mention in the video or show footage of is I went to the, uh, the paint store and I purchased uh, Subaru OEM paint for these, uh, these side, mark, side pieces right here. And I painted it with the, uh, the base coat, which is a single stage followed by the, uh, the clear coat. So it's double stage. And uh, it came out looking pretty nice. You can see it here. Uh, it isn't as shiny as the actual paint itself, but for the most part, it does, it does the job. It looks pretty good. Um, I think the next one, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the entire thing. But uh, other than that, that is the whole wing install. So thanks for watching other video parts inspections. See you in the next one.